He only hates it when the water touches him. So just as a disclaimer, Kato the Shiba is not being hurt or tortured in any way. He just believes he's being turned into guacamole so he's being extra dramatic. But as you can see, a big mistake that was made when getting a new puppy was not getting them acclimated to bass or water touching their body. Although Shibas rarely need bass, it's still a good idea to get them used to that water early on, honestly. Whether you have a Shiba or not, it's still a good idea. What's up guys, we are back with another video and if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or at least drop a like if this video is super helpful to you. This might be my last video because my driver has road rage. <laughs> Today I'm in Austin, Texas, one of the most dog friendliest, dog friendly states in the nation. So if you're thinking of getting a puppy, live in Austin, do it. But do not make these three mistakes. Tori is not here with us today. Instead, we have Kato. This is Alex, his owner. Today is Kato's birthday. We're going to be celebrating that while explaining. Alex, what was your, what is your one mistake that you made? Buying this. <laughs> Get yourself a nice little hamster. So I think the first biggest mistake that I made while having Tori as a puppy was not getting her acclimated to car rides. I know like often people don't bring their dogs places because they're young and because of health reasons like not being vaccinated so they keep them at home. But honestly I think it's just a really good idea to get them used to the car. So even if it means driving around the block a few times or even you know around your city just get them used to that feeling of being in the car because otherwise they might dread the car, they might develop car sickness or they might just put up a huge fit. Kato here is actually pretty active acclimated with the car but when I had Tori she would only want to stay near my lap and that can be really distracting and really dangerous if you're driving because you could get hurt in a serious accident so we're here at Wolfgang Bakery Kato's birthday thank you yeah, thank you hello welcome in hi let me know if I can help you find anything if you have any questions okay just happy birthday Kato oh honey <laughs> good boy <laughs> Alright y'all, this is not an ad, but it's been recommended by the Shiba Inu Facebook group. Kata, come here, let's test it on you. Hey, you like that? $20. What is it made out of? Chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> So I'd have to say the second biggest mistake that I'm guilty of when I got my new puppy is being inconsistent on the training. The early stages of your puppy are the most crucial and will mold the foundation of their behavior. And it's really common for owners to start out very consistent with the training and then after a few months just start slacking off. Even if you're going over the same basic tricks, it's still a good idea to keep reiterating it so that they get in a good habit of being obedient, especially with Shibas that are known for being stubborn. No, wait, gotta look. Gotta look. I was like, man, y'all don't hurry up. It's funny, it looks literally like chocolate cake. <laughs> I know. What if, like, they got the shit mixed up? It was actually chocolate. <laughs> it was like, it was like, rest in peace, Kato. <laughs> Made it to one. Today's also Alex's birthday. Happy birthday, Alex. Thank you. We got left some shots on here. One for Alex, one for me, and one for Kato. Kato, which one you want? I'm gonna take the one that you dropped. Puppy insurance. Here's somebody that does not buy extended warranty, protection plans, all that insurance. Do get the puppy insurance. It is so worth it. I've spent probably over $3,000 vet bills because I paid out of pocket and I really, really wish I would have got puppy insurance. So it'll save you money and it'll give you a peace of mind because there's going to be multiple times where you're going to second guess whether you should go to the vet or not. And especially when they're puppies, they're going to get into a lot of stuff, eat a lot of stuff. And I think it's worth it. And if you've made it this far, please consider subscribing. We got a whole bunch of dog content and vlogs coming soon. Please leave a like if you found this video helpful, entertaining, or anything. It really helps as a creator. Love Austin. Shout out to Kato. But until next time, I'm out. Just a little dramatic guy, huh? So record? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a professional. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Oh, and that's how he does it.